Welcome to the spoken tutorial on array operations in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn how to declare an array and assign values to it, initialize an array during declaration, to find length of an array and its nth element, to print an array. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Linux operating system. For relevant tutorials, please visit spoken-tutorial.org For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.1.10. GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us start with the definition of an array and its characteristics. An array is a variable with multiple values. The values can be of same or different types. There is no maximum limit for the size of an array. Array members need not be consecutive. Array index always starts with zero. We will now see how to declare and assign a value to an array. The syntax to declare an array is declare hyphen a array name. Declare keyword is used to declare an array. It is a built-in command in bash. The syntax to assign a value to an array is name within square brackets index equals to within single quote value. Now let's see how to initialize an array during declaration. Array can be declared and initialized at the same time. Element should be separated by a space. Each element should be within parenthesis. The syntax is declare hyphen a array name equals to within round brackets, within single quotes, element 1, element 2 and element 3. Let us try an example. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Now type gedit space array dot sh space ampersand. We use the ampersand to free up the prompt. Press enter. Type the code as shown here in your array dot sh file. This line declares an array named Linux with elements Debian, Red Hat, Ubuntu and Fedora. Here, hyphen A is a flag. It allows us to read and assign values to an array. Let us switch back to a slide. The length of an array can be obtained by this syntax. Dollar sign, opening curly bracket, hash, array name, within square brackets, add sign, and closing curly bracket. The length of the nth element can be obtained by this syntax dollar sign opening curly bracket hash array name within square bracket n and closing curly bracket. Here n is the element number whose length is to be found. All the elements of the array can be printed using this syntax dollar sign opening curly bracket array name within square bracket add sign and closing curly bracket. Now come back to our text editor. This line will display total number of elements in the array Linux. Hyphen E enables interpretation of backslash escapes. We have included this as we have backslash N at the end of the line. The next line displays all the elements of the array Linux. This line displays the third element of the array Linux. Please note that an array always starts with index 0. Lastly, this line displays the number of characters present in the third element. Now switch to the terminal. Let's first make the file executable by typing chmode space plus x space array dot sh. Press enter type dot slash array dot sh. Press enter. 
the output is displayed. The number of elements or the length of the array Linux is 4. The elements of the array Linux are Debian, Red Hat, Ubuntu and Fedora. The third element of array Linux is Ubuntu and the number of characters in the third element is 6 as expected. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize, come back to our slides. In this tutorial, we learn to declare and assign values to an array, initialize an array during declaration, to find length of an array and its nth element, and to print whole array. As an assignment, declare an array names of length 7 and find the total number of elements, print all the elements and print the fifth element. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial team. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.